Welcome back to another episode with Sigma 3 Survival School. And today we're gonna to teach you a little wood crafting project for making a chair in the bush. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this and we're gonna make a whole series on different styles of chairs. So make sure to check out our other videos on the subject. You know, some bush chairs are easier than others, but all doable with the right tools. And the only tools that you'll need for this project are a settler's wrench or Scotch-Eye auger, ax, and a folding saw. And if you've got an interest in learning these skills hands-on, uh, make sure to check out some of our survival courses. We cover all kinds of woodcraft and bushcraft related skills, and the links are in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through what's going on here. Will, our lead instructor, is going to fell a tree so that we can make uh, a set of chairs for the camp. Um, we're going to make quite a few of them as we've been building all kinds of camp furniture uh, using this new settler's wrench, which is one of the better tools I've ever used. Uh, make sure to check it out online. And so we're just chopping everything to length and getting the material set up to where we can start to split it. And now we've got to make some wedges and the wedges will be used to actually split out the material that we just took down. And preferable to have hardwood. Uh, it's not always necessary. A lot of the times once you get a split going, uh, you don't have to have a perfect piece of hardwood in order to get the job done. And seasoned wood is always better than green wood, um, but you know, I mean, the green wood works as, just as well, or, you know, relatively close. It's just not going to last as long and not going to be as durable. As you can see, Will made a split with the axe at the end, and then utilized that small little split in order to pound some wedges in with a handmade mallet. And so you'll just start at one end and keep adding wedges and pounding them in to depth until the entire piece of material splits out. And it's worth noting that the less knots that you have in the material, the easier it's going to split. Now you don't have to fell a tree for this. A lot of the times you can find something laying around, but um, you know, good material uh, can be used for a host of different projects. And so he's using the draw knife now in order to just kind of smooth the seat out. And we're getting the settler's wrench out and going to lube that up. And it's really kind of an essential thing. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble removing the settler's wrench uh, from the uh, leg pegs that you're making. It has a tendency to get wedged in there. So some salve or tallow or just anything that you could use to lubricate the tool so that once you pound the settler's wrench uh, into the wooden leg there uh, that you can you remove it and so once you pound that down um, it gives you kind of a guidepost in order to carve the rest of the material out and that's the real advantage of the settler's wrench over the scotch eye auger and of course you're going to make four legs for your chair and then you just need some kind of uh, branch to go through the settler's wrench in order to screw it down and you're going to get the settler's wrench started by pounding it in and the angle is very important if you don't get your angle right then the chair legs won't sit correctly so really take your time in getting it going and make sure it's correct the first time or you'll be starting over and you'll have a worthless chair. And in this case we drilled all the way through. You don't necessarily have to drill all the way through. Uh, personally I think it just makes a stronger leg the longer the pegs are. And so you'll just pound that in. That's the advantage of the settler's wrench is that it's one inch diameter, one inch hole, and so the pegs that you create really fit tight and there's no way you're getting that out once it's it's in uh, we've not really been able to pull them out it's a super tight fit and then you're gonna cut your legs to length and um, you know that's up to you on how high you want the stool and then just go ahead and trim the pegs off uh, that come through the seat with a saw and that is a 
uh, Silky Gomboy. If you've never used Silky, they're the best saws out there. And uh, definitely my saw of choice. And you don't need a draw knife. Uh, it's definitely not necessary for this project. You know, but if you're at a larger camp or you're making something permanent, they come in handy. And so this is just a great little project, you know, for anybody that's into outdoor skills, uh, you know, is into bushcraft, and shouldn't take you but maybe an hour to complete. So there you have it, a simple chair to construct that only requires a few tools and it's built, you know, all from items that are easy to carry on your person. Comment below on what you thought about the chair. We want to hear your pros and cons. And we'd also like to hear some commentary on the types of videos that you want to see next. Uh, we'll go through the comments on the skills and from the ones with the most likes, uh, we'll kind of add to the upcoming video list. Uh, all your video suggestions should be some tactic or technique that will help provide for your survival priorities. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you support Sigma 3, make sure you pick up some of the swag available below from Teespring. And if you want to learn these skills hands-on, check out survivalschool.us for more info on hands-on training. Until next time, Sigma 3 out.